Hi guys, um, today I wanted to do a video about a foundation routine, not a foundation routine, a video about um, a foundation review and it is the Laura Mercier foundation powder as you guys can see here. I looked over um, a lot of videos to find the perfect um, reviews but I couldn't find much like I really did a search and I went to make a body and then they took, they took great reviews about this. Um, but YouTube, I found a couple of girls, but it seemed that they didn't really like it or something for some reason. But, um, so I just decided to go on Sephora and purchase this. Now, I purchased this when, um, Sephora was giving out that, uh, $20 off, $15 off coupon or something. Um, that was just, it recently happened by, like, around Christmas or November or so. I don't remember. But, um, I got $15 off. The price of this is $40. Um, and I got it for like $25 um, plus tax and all that jazz. So yeah, let's go on to the review. Okay, so this is the packaging. I already opened it. Sorry, it's kind of dirty. Um, my shade is in number four. Hope you guys can see it. Number four. It comes in five different shades, um, which is one through five. With five being the darkest, of course. And um, for other shades, my shaded MAC is an NC35 or NC37 in the summertime, sometimes. Um, it looks, you know, my face looks kind of pale right now on the camera, but um, my, my tones are mostly um, golden, yellow, to warm skin tone kind of thing. And so, yeah. So if you are kind of like me, like a NC35, NC37-ish, or in, even NC30 sometimes, I don't know. Um, and you'd rather, like, I personally like the yellow type of foundations, unlike the pink ones. I just, ugh, you know, but if you have to work with, pink, if you have a pink foundation and you need a, a yellow powder, I definitely recommend this. As you guys can see, I already hate pan. Now I, let me show you, this is the color and... This is I take a look, the color right here, and let me swatch it out for you guys. It's pretty amazing coverage. Um, it's so smooth, silky, and this has no um, non-comedogenic ingredients, and that's because I I have my own um, list of ingredients that clog pores and all that. I actually print it out. I'm gonna put a link below so you guys can. Uh, check out that list for the mm, non comedogenic or the comedogenic ingredients on our foundations or or cleansers or anything we use sometimes can make make us break out. Like I I have um, acne prone skin and I tend to break out a lot sometimes. But I notice that it's been the foundations that I that I use that broke me out in. Um, I've changed my foundation routine and hopefully I can do another one but seriously when I used to use this by itself I would use this by itself just like my moisturizer maybe a primer I haven't used it with a primer before but if you use this with a primer and then just add it by itself with a sponge um, you would have amazing coverage it'll cover your scars like I have a lot of scars in here you guys can really see because that way I got my makeup done a couple of um, active um, pimples here and all that Ugh, nasty stuff. But, um, great product. The price, I don't know if I said it, $40. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, if you guys want to know more about shades, um, I have a list. I have a little, here. Right here. So, the first one, I would say number one, three, and five have more of a pinkish, um, undertone, whereas number two and four are the ones that have yellow. Maybe five, I tried five ones once, and then it was also a good, pretty good shade for me, maybe a little bit darker, um, but it did have a little bit of a pinky undertone. But you can also check out the Sephora website, and they'll tell you um, the the tones and, and the skin tones and all that stuff. So it's really helpful. So yeah, go check that out, and um Stay tuned for another video that I will do about foundations with like, um, you know, what are good ones for acne prone skin and and all that stuff. So yeah, if you like this video and you're interested in watching some more, please um, wait to the next video and I'll hope to see you guys all soon. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!